In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the filter function in Google Sheets. Now, just to be clear, I'm not talking about the filter command that's available through the toolbar menu. I'm talking about the actual filter formula that you type into the spreadsheet cells. So I'm going to show you a variety of ways to use the filter function. I'll show you how to filter by number, by cell reference, by text string, and also by date. And then I'll move on to show you how to filter by more than one condition. So let's go ahead and get started with this first example where I'm going to show you how to filter by number. So what we have here on the left in columns A and B are a list of student names and their grades. And what we want to do is filter this list and only display students who have a grade of 100%. So how we're going to do that is type our filter function into cell D3 by typing equals filter parentheses a3 colon b to capture our source range, then type a comma. Now type our condition, which is b3 colon b equals 1. We're checking column b for where it equals 1, or 100%. Now put your ending parenthesis and press enter, and you'll see that our filtered results have appeared, and it's only displaying students who have a grade of 100%. Now before we move on to the next example, let's talk about some of the operators that we can use when you're using the filter function. And by operators, I'm talking about things like equals, greater than, and less than. So in this example, we're using equals. B3 colon B equals one to check column B for where it equals 100%. But let's see what happens when we change this equal sign to a less than sign. So you'll see that the filtered results have now changed, and now we're displaying students with a grade of less than 100%. Now much the same, we can use the greater than sign in the filter function. But in this case, I'm going to change the number itself because there are no scores greater than 100%. And so let's display the scores for the students and their scores of greater than 70%. And so now you can see our filtered results have changed again, and we're now displaying students who have a grade of more than 70%. In this next example, I'm gonna show you how to filter by a cell value or a cell reference. And so, we want to achieve a similar task using the same data, but we're going to do it in a different way. So rather than entering the value that we want to filter by directly into the filter formula, we're just going to type that value into a spreadsheet cell and then refer to that cell within the filter function. So again, we have student names and grades, and what we want to do is filter this list and show only students who have a grade of less than 60%. And we're going to do that by entering our filter function into cell D3 by typing equals filter parenthesis A3 colon B to capture our source range A3 through B, then comma B3 colon B less than, and now we're going to type F1 to refer to the cell F1 where the value that we want to filter by is already entered. And then we'll type our ending parenthesis and press enter. And now you'll see that the filter results have appeared and we're only showing students that have a grade of less than 60%. And we were able to do that without having to type the value that we want to filter by directly into the formula, but rather we were able to simply type it into a spreadsheet cell. And why we do this is because it makes it really easy for us to change the number or the value that we want to filter by without having to go up into the toolbar and change the formula itself. And so now let's change the value that's entered into cell F1 from 0.6 to 0.9. And you can see as soon as I change this value, the data that is linked to it in the filter results has also changed. And now we're displaying students who have a grade of less than 90%. In this next example, I'm going to show you how to filter by text, which is basically the same process as filtering by a number or a cell reference, but when you're filtering by text, 
you need to wrap the text in quotation marks, or in other words, quotation marks need to go on the outside of the text that you want to filter by. So in this example, we have a list of customers and their payment status. And what we want to do is filter this list and only show customers who have a payment status of late. And we're going to do that by typing our filter function into cell D3 by typing equals filter parenthesis A3 colon B comma B3 colon B equals quotation mark and then let's type the word late and then put another quotation mark because remember when you're filtering by text you need to wrap it in quotation marks and now we'll put our ending parenthesis and press enter and the filter results have appeared and we're now only displaying customers who have a payment status of late so we've already went over a few of the different operators that you can use in the filter function, such as equals, greater than, and less than. But in this example, I'm going to show you one of the less commonly used but very valuable operators, which is not equal to. In many cases, you'll want to filter a list of data and exclude results that match certain criteria. And so I'm going to show you how to do that here. On the left, we have data related to sales calls that varying sales representatives make. And what we want to do is filter this list and show all of the data that is not related to the sales rep, Bob. And so how we're going to do that is type our filter function into cell G3 by typing equals filter parenthesis A3 colon E to capture our source range A3 through E, then type a comma, then B3 colon B, and to type not equal to, what you'll do is type the less than sign followed by the greater than sign. This means not equal to in Google Sheets. Now we'll type a quotation mark because remember when we're filtering by text, you want to wrap the text in quotation marks. Now we'll type the name Bob and put our ending quotation mark and then an ending parenthesis and press enter. Now we have our filter results and we're showing all of the data that you see on the left except for that which is related to the sales rep, Bob. So now I'm going to show you how to filter by date. And there's actually a couple of different ways that you can do this in Google Sheets, and so I'll show you both. But in this first example of filtering by date, what we're going to do is enter the date that we want to filter by into cell G1 and then refer to that cell within the filter function, just like we learned in the lesson on filtering by a cell value. So what we have here is a list of student names, their test grades, and the date that their test was taken. And we want to filter this list and only display students who took their test before 6-1-2019. So let's go ahead and enter the date that we want to filter by into cell G1, which again is 6-1-2019 and then press enter, and now we'll enter our filter function into cell E3 by typing equals filter parenthesis A3 colon C to capture our source range A3 through C, then type comma C3 colon C less than, and now we're going to type G1 to refer to the cell G1 where the date that we want to filter by is already entered. And then we'll type our ending parenthesis and press enter. And now we have our filter results, which are showing us only students who took their test before 6-1-2019. In this next example, I'm going to show you another way to filter by date where you don't have to use a cell reference and you can type the date that you want to filter by directly into the filter function. And so, again, we have a list of students, their test grades, and the date that their test was taken. And we want to filter this list and display only the students who took their test before 6-1-2019. And in this example, we're going to do that by entering our filter function into cell E3 by typing equals filter parenthesis E3 colon C comma C3 colon C 
less than. And now type the word date and a parenthesis to begin the date function, which is going to allow you to designate the date that you want to filter by directly in the formula here, but it goes in a very specific format. And so first you need to type the year, which is 2019, then type a comma, and then you'll type the month and another comma, and then the day. And now you'll need an ending parenthesis for the date function and another ending parenthesis to end the filter function itself. Then you'll press enter and again, we have our filter results, which are now showing us students who took their test before 6-1-2019. So now I'm going to show you how to filter by more than one condition. And there's actually two different ways to do this, depending on the situation that you're in. So I'm going to show you both. But first, I'm going to show you the most typical way of filtering by two conditions, which is where both of the conditions that you set must be true for the data to appear in the filter results. So what we have here is a list of customers, their payment status, and their membership status. And what we want to do is filter this list and show only the customers who have a payment status of late and who also have a membership status of active. So how we're going to do that is enter our filter function into cell E3 by typing equals filter parenthesis A3 colon C to capture the source range then type a comma, and now you're going to enter your first condition, which is B3 colon B equals the text late. Now type a comma, and you can enter your second condition, which is C3 colon C equals the text active. Now type an ending parenthesis and press enter, and now we have our filter results which are showing us only customers who have a payment status of late and who also have a membership status of active. Now I'm going to show you a different way of filtering by two conditions where either of the conditions that you set can be true for the data to appear in the filter results. And so we're just going to make a slight change in the formula and it's going to completely change the way that it operates. So again, we have a list of customers, their payment status, and their membership status, and we want to filter this list and display customers who either have a payment status of late or have a membership status of active. And how we're going to do that is enter our filter function into cell E3 by typing equals filter parenthesis A3 colon C to capture the source range and then type comma. Now we're going to enter our first condition, but in this example, we want to put parentheses around our conditions, and you'll see why in a minute here. So let's type a parenthesis and then type B3 colon B equals the text late. Remember to put your ending parenthesis for your first condition, and now type a plus sign. Now we can enter our second condition, but remember we want parentheses around it, so type a parenthesis, and then type C3 colon C equals the text active. Remember to put your ending parenthesis for your second condition, and then we'll need another parenthesis to end the filter function itself. Now press enter, and we have the filter results which are displaying customers who either have a payment status of late or who have an active membership. So it's a really small change that's made in the formula, which makes a really big difference in the way that it operates, where in one case, when you separate your filter conditions by a comma, both of those conditions must be true for the data to appear in the filter results. And in the next case, when you separate your filter conditions by a plus sign, either of those conditions can be true for the data to appear in the filter results. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe. And if you want to copy and paste any of the formulas that you've seen in this video into your own sheet, then I've linked the article to this video for you below.